Hi family, hope you are blessed and well. In today's video, I'm sharing my life hacks for stress and anxiety. Now, I deal with anxiety and using these hacks, I managed to run a stressful business all by myself, you know, run this channel, have a relationship, have friends, you know, look after myself, just general life. And I managed to cope relatively well without any professional help at least. But I will say that if you are struggling to cope by yourself, please do seek professional medical advice. It is out there and you don't need to suffer in silence. And just know that anxiety is the most commonly diagnosed disorder in the world today so you are not alone so number one is to write it all down this is so 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 helpful because what i find with anxiety and stress is that your mind tends to become really foggy. We lose that mental clarity and problems that could just be A, B, C become A, B, Z, H, Q, F, J. You know, they go sort of all over the place and we're not really able to make sense of things like we normally would when we're feeling more like ourselves. So what I like to do is just take a piece of paper, split it down the middle. On one side, I will list the problems currently that are causing my stress or anxiety and on the other side I will write down the solutions to those problems. Now another disclaimer, I'm fully aware that anxiety is not always linked to specific situations. Sometimes there can be nothing going on and yet we feel anxious but what I find there always is, is a trigger. So try to identify those instead in that case. And you'll find a lot of times that once you've got it out of your head and it's on paper looking back at you, the way you look at those things actually changes. And so that in itself can really help to reduce stress levels and anxiety. And of course, you're basically giving yourself a nice clear action plan as to how to move through whatever is causing you this unease. Number two is to practice mindfulness. So there are a few different ways that you can do this. The most common are, you know, meditation, yoga, positive affirmations, and of course, breathing. And I know that with meditation, especially, and breathing, it's like when you're feeling severe anxiety and stress, those are the last things that you want to do. You don't feel like they're going to work. And I'll be honest, you know, when you're anxious and your thoughts are racing at a million miles an hour it's almost impossible to just sit there with some meditation music on and just empty your mind. You know, I'm fully aware that that can actually feel like an insult to someone who is experiencing anxiety. What I will say is I like to use guided meditations and it's the same as a normal meditation, but there is somebody, a voice guiding you through it, which is giving your mind something to focus on. It's actually instructing your mind on what to do next. And that really gets you into the meditation. That is what I use on a daily basis and I will link my favourites down below for you. So make sure you check those out. Just 10 minutes a day is all you need and it really will make a huge difference to your stress levels. Number three is to take weekly herbal baths. Game changer. I have made a whole other video on how to take herbal baths and I will link that in the cards somewhere up here for you. Be sure to check that out because honestly, if you're dealing with stress and anxiety, that is an absolute must. I do it once a week and then specifically on new and full moons. Um, but yeah, go and check out that video. I won't ramble on about it in this one. Go and check that one out and definitely give that a go. Number four is to fuel your body. Again, I know this is one of those annoying tips that nobody wants to hear when they're trying to find out how to manage stress and anxiety, but it is crucial. Try to think of food to you as petrol to a car. You know, if you put diesel in a petrol car, shit ain't going right. And if you put crap into you, shit ain't going right. It's been proven time and time again now that food affects our mental health just as much as it affects our physical health. It's really important to get the right foods in you. Things like dark leafy greens that are packed with magnesium because magnesium breaks amino acids down into serotonin, which is the chemical in the body responsible for regulating our moods. Also supplements. So if you're uh, like vegetarian or vegan and you're no longer getting certain vitamins and nutrients from meat and dairy obviously super important for us 
just to make sure that our body is getting everything that it needs. Also 10 minutes a day outside in the sun to get that vitamin D. Which leads me to tip number five, which is to get into nature. I say this in pretty much all of my videos I feel like because it's just such a fundamental basic and it is so overlooked. Going out into the woods, all of that fresh oxygen, all of those soothing sounds of all the different wildlife, you know the peace of not being around anyone else and having that time to yourself. Nature is just an absolute must. I try to get out into it daily. I'm not going to lie, I don't always. A lot of days, I can go for days without even leaving my room, okay? and But those are the days when I feel the most crap. We are supposed to connect with nature. We're supposed to ground. You know, our feet are supposed to touch some grass or some soil from time to time. It's very, very grounding, very stabilizing, very soothing, and very relaxing being in nature, and it is crucial. So try to get out, even if it's just for a walk in the park, it will definitely help with reducing stress and anxiety. And number six is to move your body. <laughs> the next time you feel extra stress, I want you to get up, walk over to the mirror and just start shaking your booty. Just shake that thing. Like you can't be stressed and anxious while shaking that thing. But seriously, exercising guys, exercising as we know is ridiculously important. It releases dopamine and serotonin, which are the chemicals responsible for mood regulation. So it's a huge help for uh, reducing stress and anxiety. I feel like exercise, it basically just regulates the entire everything, mind, body and soul. I feel like it just clicks everything into its rightful place. Super important, make sure you incorporate it into your lifestyle somehow, some way. What I do wanna say is that, you know, life, guys, is like this, okay? Look at nature. Nature doesn't stay like this. It's not one season all year. No, 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 honey, there are storms, there are hurricanes, and then there are beautiful sunny days, and there are calm days, and there are windy days, and it's all over the place, just like us, and that's okay. And I wanna say that my biggest advice to you would probably be, honestly, when you start to feel stressed or anxious, or even if you go into depression, do not beat up on yourself, because I've noticed with myself anyway, when I get stressed and anxious, I can be really hard on myself, and I have to sit and say, hold on, if this was my best friend coming to me with these problems, would I be saying any of these things to her that I'm saying to myself? Hell no. I would be, you know, comforting her and reassuring her that everything's okay and reminding her of her strength and advising her on little tips and tricks that she can do. So treat yourself that way. Don't be hard on yourself because that just causes more stress and anxiety. Ride through it, sit with yourself, comfort yourself through it. Implement these tips though. Do take action. Implement these tips daily. And like I said, if you feel like you're not able to cope by yourself, please do seek medical professional help. I sincerely, sincerely hope this video helps you. If it does, please give me a thumbs up. If you want good vibes, make sure you subscribe. It's free and don't forget to hit the little bell symbol so that you get notified when I post a new video. Until the next one, I wish you health, wealth and high vibrations.